Hey, baby. Eliana, I love you. Can you hear me, baby? What is happening, guys? Archizel here, and welcome to another video. I'm really, really happy, and I'm really, really excited because this is another one of those videos that's kind of like really, really personal, and I haven't really told anyone or probably told a few people but you know family members first it's really exciting um it's something that i never really thought i would be posting also on the social media website or like youtube or some sort of like video facebook or whatever um today's video or today's story time is the story when um i basically told my parents or my mom and um when we were still in the barracks in germany back in 2011 when um we got pregnant it's really crazy i get a lot of comments and messages asking how is it to have a child how is it to be a father while in the army how is it to be dual military me and wife me and floor being in the army at the same time having a child i kind of talked about this before in past videos but it's really really hard because you have to like manage your time um, a lot of time management skills you got to go to a lot of classes or just just yourself try to try to evaluate yourself and you will have to give up a lot of stuff hence changes in goals changes in my aspirations and just the way of life you know like going to school is going to change a little bit maybe have to like study a little bit more take less credit hours and all that but having a child is really amazing just to show you a few clips and from based from experience and when you see also in the beginning of this video it's really amazing to have a child it's like really life-changing and it's your own it, it it's your own blood and it's your own <laughs> i don't even know how to word it but it's really amazing especially the first time that i saw her kids can be kind of crazy also because they don't li really listen to you that much at times they can be a pain in the butt but it's so amazing not gonna lie being a father being in the military and having a child is not really easy it's kind of stressful but again it's up to you on how you manage your time and it just shows how much you dedicate yourself to your family and your kids it's really crazy too because like in the eyes of my child i know that she thinks that like like i'm the strongest i'm the coolest person on the planet earth until maybe when she grows older and she starts having crushes and all that and daddy's out of the window. Now onto the story of this video. It was December of 2011. Remember, I got into Germany around November or September of 2011. Um, you know, me and Floor, fast forward, if you don't know our backstory, I'll probably put a link somewhere here in the screen how we met. And um, yeah, so uh, we found out that she was pregnant because uh, we got a pregnancy test, obviously. And um we were kind of scared like how are we going to do because we live in the barracks we were we were just dating at that point and uh we didn't really know what to do and knowing if you're asian if you're filipino it really depends on what your culture is and how your family's structured my mom's also watching my video so she's probably gonna remember how she was so mad you know what i mean like they don't really expect you to have a child it's either they're really really happy for you to have a child or they're really against it in a way because they know that you have a lot of priorities that you have to fulfill or things that you have to do before you even settle down and have a family once you have a kid it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be tough and that's what happened to me so we were really scared floor came up to me we were talking we were still dating we lived in the barracks and she asked me and she told me like what do i do because i think i'm pregnant because i'm delayed and matter of fact she's she wasn't really too worried about it but i was so i was like uh, i think we need to go to the shop better or not the shop better the px and get a pregnancy test and that's what we did followed the instructions the next day she urinated looked at the thing and it said pregnant we were so in denial we were like oh no what are we gonna do reality kicked in right in our faces and we're like what are we gonna do my concern was like how am i gonna support the child and what is my mom gonna tell me because this is really crazy and again like what i said it depends on your culture and depends where you're coming from what kind of family setup you guys have it's either they're really really happy or they're like what the what, what the hell did you get yourself into you know what i mean even if i'm a guy so it's really weird but hopefully some of you will understand floor on the other hand was really really scared too but as soon as she told her parents they were actually happy immediately. For me, I had to 
to really like think about it wait for like a few days and i didn't really call my mom until it was like christmas eve or christmas i think it was christmas eve when i decided to call her like because eventually we have to talk to each other because it's christmas over the phone she was in the states and i was in germany stationed over there so i dialed the number you know kind of like talked a little bit like oh how are you doing merry christmas all that i'm doing good we went to like different places here in germany went to the christmas market and all that so we're doing great you know and uh i just told her like hey ma can i tell you something and she's like yes we're pregnant and uh i don't even know i was so scared at that point you know we kind of like fought a little bit and uh, it was really weird in a way it's really something i don't really want to go through again that's why it's unexplainable you know like there's probably things that i can't really even say on the camera on the internet right now but it wasn't the greatest she was kind of like upset that that happened to me but uh eventually she kind of accepted it especially when eliana was born and uh everything went well it was a struggle because going to work being dual military and having a child we have to wake up super early then six i know barracks people they can wake up five minutes before formation roll out of bed and go to pt because it's just like right out of the barracks but for us we have to wake up like five or maybe four thirty because we have to prepare eliana's bag to go to the daycare and we have to pay for the daycare which is really expensive also because we were both working at the moment and it was just so crazy only had one car floor had to use it all the time and i didn't really mind so i would just walk from her unit to my unit because I, I can just run it or jog it it's fine and then we meet up again and then we go back home shower and go back to work it was just crazy all over and we basically don't even see iliana until like the end of the day for like almost a good year or two or maybe a year until we decided to drop her off to another friend that was able to babysit her because we were at work and then pick her up during lunchtime or something around like that so it's really crazy it's really amazing i don't even know it's just it's just fulfilling and kind of like a big responsibility like right in front of your face like i can't mess this up i know i've messed up a lot of things in my life and then having my own child is like the best thing and the biggest responsibility that i can't really drop the ball well that's it for today i hope you guys like this little story time and it's just really crazy thinking about it now and uh words can't really explain how i felt and what i went through but being overseas and uh you know me and floor did it we made it and uh, if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up it, it helps the channel out a lot i hope you guys are having a great saturday if this is going to be uploaded on a saturday I'm almost gonna be home in a week so i'm gonna see my family i'm so excited that's why i kind of talked about this video because i just remembered the feeling and i saw some clips when iliana was still young that's it for today again subscribe so you get notified whenever i upload a new video that's it for today our chisel out all right guys right now the time is 6 13 in the morning and look who i saw the skunk is back and just waiting for those soldiers about to form